Okay, here we go. Three fives. Any questions for me on the rules? Right, remember, protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my words of command at all times. If I say stop, you stop. Let's touch gloves. Get ready for war. Right back. Here we go then, main event! Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's fight! So here we go, we're going to find out right now. We know braun has got a good chin, he's proved that against Berry and the Colossus James Thompson. Oh, there it is! There's the takedown! Butterbean couldn't block the low single leg. Rob Broughton has this exactly where he wants it. Butterbean's going to eat punches unless he does something. Will this be a Humpty Dumpty situation? We Brat shall find out. Bratton doing a very good job of controlling Butterbean. He did the, the right thing, shot well low, got the takedown. Did it off the jab. He's, got, he's, he's giving him his back. He's got the arm locked with the legs. Bratton can finish this from this position here. Butterbean trying to power his way up. Rob Broughton going to go for a crucifix here, but crucifix wouldn't be the good thing because you don't want Butterbean laying on top of you. I was just about to say, all that weight on top of you, not the best idea. Butterbean trying to defend, trying to pop the lip, pop free from that leg. Butterbean trying to use his strength just to grab the leg and twist it. Rob Broughton's got to get on top here. Rob Broughton's got to hustle. It's back to standing. This favors Butterbean. You can hear what the crowd think of this fight already. Rob Broughton got to use the jab. A low kick would be good too. The jab is the weapon. It's not going to knock out Butterbean. Rob Broughton with a good knee to the body. A little bit low though. The wrong part of the body. And again, when he shot in there, I don't think there's going to be any shoulder throws either. Rob Broughton should throw a low kick there. <laughs> there it is on cue. Broughton should use the jab here. The jab is the weapon right at the nose. Got to be careful of the Hail Mary punch. I think that's Butterbean's plan, guys. He's sucking Bratton in, keeping the guard low, pulling Bratton closer and closer, looking for that big overhand. Bratton should actually take a step back and make Butterbean come forward. It's the jab that'll be the weapon. Rob Bratton shouldn't even think about the right hand. Just use the jab. Let Butterbean get tired throwing that wild right hand. If that wild right hand lands, it could be the end. Good low kick there by Broughton. He's doing the right thing as well though, Steve. When he put the low kick in, he moves smartly out of the way and back out of range. Because obviously, as we can see, Butterbean's not the most mobile of fighters. This fight is going to come down to two things. Can Butterbean land the punch? And B, who's got the best cardio? I'm betting Broughton. Good job, Bob. Just use the... They go low single right under the knee. It was an easy takedown. Mount of position. Butterbean's in trouble now. I don't know that this is a good strategy, actually, because to Mount Butterbean, okay, Broughton going for the arm. Maybe looking for an arm by. But he's got the fence behind him. He won't be able to roll all the way out. It's going to be hard to get Butterbean with a clean shot from this position. Butterbean looks in trouble taking those shots as Broughton sits in top mount position. Looking for a, possibly a... A key lock, Kimura. Sorry, uh, no, a key lock is not going to work. Not, not yet. Maybe. Look at that. Uh oh, no, no. You Turn don't want Butterbean butter on top of you. You do not want Butterbean on top of you. Oh. No way. No way. This is not good for Broughton. Broughton better use his knees and get the hell out of there. The crowd are soaking this up, though. They're really enjoying this, and they're actually quite rooting for Butterbean here. Butterbean, by sheer force of, of weight, is going to present a problem for Broughton, who pops Broughton out now. Butterbean takes to the back. Butterbean, see, the mounted position is not going to work with Butterbean because of his anatomy. It's easy, too easy for him to roll uh, Rob Broughton off. The side mount is what he wants to do here. A good escape there by Broughton. He's, he's trying for the arm. He's trying to get that arm again, isn't he? That, that right, that left arm. Sorry. He actually has a perfect position.
for, to get Butterbean into, into an arm bar because he's got him up against the fence. Because Butterbean won't be able to roll out correctly. Frank Brighton's looking for it. He's starting to push the leg over the top of the head. Controlling Butterbean, keeping him on the floor. Mouth's bleeding now from those downward hammer fists. Butterbean struggling on the bottom. You can tell that he's relatively new at ground fighting by his feet position and his leg position. We're almost at the end of the first round, guys. And there it is, Rob. There's the bell. It was all Rob Broughton in round number one. He used the jab to set up the takedown, and it was a very low single leg. Every time he went for it, he got it. There it is. The left hand is not going to do necessarily damage. And look, it was so low, it was below. It was actually an ankle pick because he grabbed the ankle and he got the shoulder up against the knee and it pulled straight down because a single leg, Butterbean's legs are so big around, you can't really get a single leg takedown. And that was a low blow. And Rob is not a dirty fighter. It was accidental. But if there is a danger for him bringing the man down, I think, didn't we see this with Mark Buchanan? There's a danger of dragging the bigger man on top of you. Yeah. Mark Buchanan actually made that mistake. Well, it wasn't a mistake. He went for the takedown and his opponent, much bigger, landed on top of him. There's a danger for that as well. But there? I don't think that's going to happen with a low single leg or an ankle pick like that because if you go for a body lock or a shoot for a double like that, it's possible for him to lay on top of you. Or if you get his back and try to suplex him, of course, <laughs> Rob's not going to try and suplex better <laughs> no, no. He'd have get a hernia doing it. Big smile, though. Yeah, no more scowl. Rob Broughton doing the right thing, though. Just All he has to do is use the jab and stay on his feet until Butterbean buys the jab and stands straight up and then go for the low single again. Butterbean sucking him in again. Well, Butterbean can't move around. Butterbean, just moving around is going to burn cardio. And Butterbean needs all the cardio he can get. Rob Broughton suddenly look at... Now, Rob Broughton's got to be careful with the low kick. Mouthpiece. Oh, uh, okay. Wet floor. <laughs> it was the old look at the floor and then boom, the punch comes. <laughs> well, 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 Rob's actually dancing there like a lightweight in comparison. He, he's loving the fact of being the, 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 the lighter man, I think. Speed is the key, key factor in this fight. Butterbean is not fast enough to land that huge bomb. If he does land the bomb, well, we've said if, 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 if enough times. See, there it is again. The crowd loving this. Rob Broughton should use the right low kick, not the left low kick, because, because he's too in close. Broughton should go back to the jab. There it is. Because, yeah, and it's an easy target, as you said. Uh, because all you have to do is throw the jab. He can throw it all day long. You're not going to stop Butterbean with the jab. You might break his nose, maybe, but I won't stop him. But it will set up the takedown. You can see with each one of those jabs that lands, Butterbean sort of nods him in acknowledgement and smiles. Yeah, a body shot would not be the key here, even though it's a pretty sizable target. Low kick. Right low kick you mentioned, Stephen. It's a more damaging weapon because if you can get him limping, he can just fall down and couldn't get back up and the fight would be over. Left hook now he changes and Butterbean trying to lure him in. That's what he wants. And seeing the way he soaks up punishment, Steve, it reminds me just what a hard way this is to make a living. <laughs> Rob Broughton never ceases to amaze me. Rob Broughton came in the underdog against James Thompson, flipped him over in the third round and put the beating of a, of a lifetime on Thompson, who was a hero, having fought in pride around the world, probably the biggest known UK heavyweight so far. Broughton became a hero. We were there at Wembley when that happened. It was like as if the Beatles got back together. The crowd went ballistic. And then he devastated Buzz Berry. Buzz Berry came in, the strong man, the heir apparent to challenge Broughton, got dominated, and here he is against Butterbean. And Rob came in an underdog in this fight. He's always the underdog. I think he quite likes the position as well. It, it, there's a certain freedom that comes with that as well. That's Ab right. Absolutely. The nothing to lose aspect kicks in when you're the underdog. Butterbean's face, a little bit of a mess cosmetically, but Butterbean's waiting for him to throw his right hand, but what's Butterbean going to do if he throws his right hand? He's going to throw his right hand. Rob should just throw the jab and the right low kick. That's all. Eventually, yes. eventually Rob's going to die for another single leg. It will happen. Although if he keeps gambling this way, he could go cleanly through the round. Yeah, he's going to win this round. Points. He's going to win this round just on points alone. He could win this fight just with a jab. 
because Butterbean isn't quick enough to land anything of significance. But I agree with you, if he follows up with the low leg kick, this is the danger, as I said, of falling on you. Yeah, it's a danger, but Brown is still a pretty big guy. And uh, brown has got to be careful of the guillotine choke. He doesn't want to get stuck down here, but, but what can Butterbean do? He's not mobile enough, he's going to spin out like that. Butterbean is not mobile enough to do damage. Carrying too much weight. Now the choke is going to be really he's difficult. Tough. Oh, he's tough. Look at this! It's all over. And Rob Broughton does it again. The underdog comes through. He and has you can see it. He has made Butterbean tap out from strikes. <laughs> Who would have thought that was going to happen? Butterbean came in bragging about boxing. Peter can't take his punch. And who tapped out by strikes? Butterbean. Rob Broughton further cements himself as a hero here in the UK and around the world. People are taking notice. And it was the mobility there, as we mentioned, guys. Look at a replay. Look. Straight down. Looks to strike. I think Butterbean knows he's in trouble. All he's going to do is sit there and take more punishment. Sensible option. I oh, know, I'll tap. Yeah. He, he, he knew he couldn't do anything because he was basically on his side. Again, we had a Humpty Dumpty situation. And once he fell down, he couldn't get back up and he couldn't defend. And Rob, you mentioned, um, Steve mentioned that cosmetic damage, but by the end there, uh, I felt there's only going to be more of the same. It was, yeah. all, it was all Rob Broughton in this fight, I'm telling you. What, what happened here was we, we had a star in Butterbean possibly deliver part of his stardom to that man there, Rob Broughton, the working man hero. And a very sporting gesture. Look, one of his victims, Rob Busberry, first in the, the case to congratulate him. you got to love Rob Broughton. This guy's so humble. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 43 seconds of round two, we have a winner by way of tap out to ground and bound to Rob!